Transform your Shopify store with sections. This revolutionary new feature gives you the freedom to build unique sections for your Shopify store. The sections you build in Instant can be edited directly within the Shopify editor, exported to any Shopify online store 2.0 team, and work with every page type. And what's more, our sections integrate with all Shopify market features, Shopify meta fields, and thanks to the all new App Island element, our sections integrate with any Shopify app block you can imagine. Let's see it in action. Here we are in the builder, and if we go to the layout panel, you can see that besides building complete pages, you can now also build sections. And sections are essentially individual parts of a page. So let's create one. We start with a blank canvas, and there are a couple of ways to build unique and on-brand sections. The first option is to build from scratch and drag and drop all the available elements within our builder. The second option is to work with pre-built sections. And then last but not least, you can also, if you have created a page like this one, you can go to any section you like, select the section, right click, and then click on save as section, which then creates a new section. For this tutorial, I'm going to work with a pre-built section. So let's drag and drop this one onto the visual canvas. And now let's customize. Let's change the height to fill. Um, I want this text on the left. Uh, we're gonna make golf easy. And so let's also change the image to a golf image. And then this button, let's add an interaction. Because when we do this later on in the Shopify editor, we will be able to add an interaction and link to any other page within Shopify. For now, it doesn't really matter what sort of URL you put in as long as you just add one. And then later on, which I will show you, you can edit this within Shopify. Last but not least, let's also add the all new app island element. With the app island element, you essentially define where the app block can be inserted when you add this section to your Shopify team. So any app that you've installed in your Shopify store can be added to this part of the section once it's published to your store. But before we publish, there are a few best practices we need to take into account. First, it's the section names. So the name of the section in Instant will be shown in the Shopify editor when you click on add section. So make sure to give your section clear names before publishing so it's easier to find within Shopify. So if we go to layouts and then to this section and click on section settings, we can change the name. Golf should be good. And then we also have field names. So the name of each field within Shopify will be based on the layer name of the related element. So in the layer panel, you can see all the layers that this section consists of. And by double clicking on a layer, you can also change the name. All with the goal to make it more easy to edit later on in the Shopify team editor. Publishing a section is really easy. Simply click on publish. If you've connected Instant to your Shopify store, it will then give you a notification when the section is published and then you can go to the Shopify team editor. If not connected yet, you'll be redirected to the Shopify app store when you click on publish and there you can install the app in a matter of seconds. So I've connected my Shopify store, so let's click on publish. And now that it's published, we get this nice notification with a CTA to go to the Shopify team editor. So let's click on customize team. And here we are in the Shopify editor on the homepage of my store. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to work with the section we've just built on our product page, but the sections you built in Instant can be used on any page type. So let's go to the product page and let's add the section that we have just built. And we have given our section a nice name, so it's easy to find, named golf, and here it is. 
The beauty of our sections is that they are converted to native Shopify liquid code, including the schema that's needed to integrate with the Shopify team editor. And because of that, our sections work with all Shopify market features, such as translations and Shopify meta fields. When we want to customize a section within the Shopify editor, we can do a few things. We can change the text, we can change images, URLs, integrate app blocks, and change the top and bottom padding. First, let's change the text because we're making golf easier with the store, but in this tutorial, we're making sections easy. And next to changing the text of every text element, you can also select connect dynamic source. You select this option if you want to work with content from Shopify meta fields, such as the title, a vendor, or any other Shopify meta field that you've added to your store. Then we can also change images. So if we click on explore free images, we can select this iPhone. And when you change images, we even support advanced features like setting the focal point. So let's click on edit. And as you can see, we also support those advanced features. Next, we have URLs. Before, with an instant, we added an interaction to the button element. And this then adds a URL field to the schema in Shopify. And thus, as you can see right here, we have the button URL. It enables us to link to other pages within our Shopify store. So let's link this button to the contact page, for example. Next, we have our app island element. When you have added an app island element to the section, like we just did, it will not be visible in the Shopify editor because we first need to add an app block. What is visible, however, from the beginning is the option within this section to add an app block. So if we click on this, we see different app blocks. And in this demo store, I have an integration set up with Judge Me. So let's click on the star rating. And what you will see right now is that the star rating will appear exactly where we also drag and drop the app island element within instant. Depending on the app block you integrate with, you will have different customization options here in the right panel or in the actual customizer of the specific app. Last but not least, you can also add top and bottom padding. So depending on the page you might want to use this section, you may want to add more or less top or bottom padding. Then our sections are of course also responsive, as you can see right here, and our sections are not static. And what that means is that you could add this specific section to any other page in your Shopify store and then also change the content of this section depending on the context of the page you work with. Because you might want to add a different text on the home page in this section than you do on this specific product page. Now, let's go back to the instant product, go to layouts, and as you can see, we have published this golf section to our Shopify store. I hope this tutorial gives you a good indication of the possibilities of our sections and happy building.